Can you explain to us how this particular woman became the focus of the entrance into the exhibition? What's her significance? Okay, so Hene Nui Te Pō stands here as the entrance point into the gallery behind. Hene Nui Te Pō is Hene Titama. So I've created a line between her and Hene Titama behind, so they're the same atua, they're the same person, as to describe the cyclic nature of who she is, of light and day, life and death. She stands here above a doorway, a portal, um, a matapihi, a window, but it's, it's something that you go through because you are going through something to get into the space beyond. So traditionally, Hine Nui Te Pō guards the underworld. She guards the places where you go after you die. And within our um, architecture, within our whare nui for Māori, she is often found above the door lintel, above the door, as, as that's her place she often stands. So I've just taken those concepts and brought them here. Um, the concept of walking through someone's legs as a way of removing uh, sacredness is inherent to our culture, but it also talks about the power of what is between a woman's legs. Um, it talks about the power of uh, procreation. It talks about, about the power of generations. And it's not about, you know, that our vaginas are unsacred or anything. It's more about their power in removing sacred things that might be detrimental to life itself that that's where the power is. How significant is it, Tash, that out of all of the pieces here, this one has, you've painted the complete surround. This is not one perspective, that it's 360. How did, why did you choose to do that with this particular one? Well, mostly because she's come off the wall and I wanted to see her as a three-dimensional object per se. So she is three-dimensional, even though she is on a flat, you know, she's been created on a flat surface, but there is still a behind. There is still, you're still going to see her from behind, and as opposed to having nothing there, it's again, she is looking back, she's looking back at herself as Hine Titama, and it is reminding us of that cycle.